Hi, this is Greg with Threshold Media Productions, and this is a quick tutorial on how to upload your Hype document using the latest version of Hype with Joomla 3.2, which is the latest release. Um, as you can see, this is the version I'm running for Hype, um, 2.5.2, uh, which is the latest release. So let's get started. Here's my document. We'll go to File, Export to HTML5, to Folder. We want to make sure that we have um, the top three boxes checked, we'll name this Hype, Juma, and we'll make sure we'll save it to the desktop and hit save. Okay, now that that's saved, we'll go ahead and close Hype. Now, um, there's a couple of extensions that we're going to need in order for this to work. And when we get to that point, I'll let you know. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll open up this height file and we will right click on this HTML uh, file and we'll open with Safari. Okay, this is the height file that we're gonna be working with. So to get the code um, for a site note, you may have to go to Safari's um, settings and preferences and go to the advanced tab and make sure that you have this box checked on, which is show develop uh, menu and menu bar. Once you have that checked, um, you'll see this uh, new tab here. You just click on it and go to view source or page source, that is. All right, and this is going to show the code that we're going to need to copy for our document. Okay, so we'll save this for now. Let's head over to our, our website. Um, and this is, like I said, this is the latest version of Joomla. This is the 3.2. Um, so what we want to do is we want to find the two extensions that I told you about previously. Two extensions that we're going to need are the JCE editor and the Sorcerer uh, editor. Um, the reason why you would need these two is because, um, at least for me, these are the two plugins that absolutely work with Hype. Um, the editor um, that you get that comes with Joomla, uh, for whatever reason, does not work. Okay. So let's go to the extensions tab, go to extension manager. And uh, as, it, as this tutorial sits now, this uh, JCE is the one that you're looking for, which is on the uh, main page. Um, so we'll click here. And also I'll, I'll leave the links to these in the description as well um, for a quick find. So we'll come here and we'll go ahead and click install. And install. Okay, now that the JCE editor is uh, installed, uh, we want to go in the extensions tab again, go to the extension manager, and now let's search for the sorcerer. Okay, now this is the plugin that we want to find. Click on it and click install. And install this as well. Okay. Now that they're installed, um, the Sorcerer plugin should automatically be um, enabled um, when you install it. The JCE editor needs to be enabled so that the backend knows which uh, WYSIWYG editor that you would like to use. So let's go to System, uh, Control Panel. And let's go down to Global Configuration. And Default Editor, we want to change this to uh, JCE Editor. We'll hit save and close. And then just to verify that the Sorcerer plugin is enabled, we'll go to extension, extension manager, manage on the on the left side, and then let's type in Sorcerer. Search. And these two are checked on. Okay. Um, in my previous tutorials, there are some settings that we had to customly um, make sure that they matched what was on the developer site, but um, I find that I didn't have to do that for this. So next, what we wanna do is we'll go to our content, article manager, and this is gonna be the page that I'm gonna have the hype document added to, okay? Um, so first things first, let's go to our webpage. Um, one thing that I'm gonna be doing is using um, the the um, the method of FTP to upload my files up to my website. 
Um, but in order to do that, we need to make sure that we add our hype document to the right directory. Um, so what we'll do is um, let's go ahead and sign into our FTP. I'm using FileZilla. Okay. Next, we want to figure out um, which directory we need to add our, our hype file to. So an easy way to do that is if we go to our site, and this is just, um, like I said, this is just a quick page I'm going to be using. Uh, with this image, uh, I'll right-click and open a new tab. Okay. Uh, as you see, this image is saved under images, headers, and then blue-flower.jpg is a file. So if we navigate here, it's under images, headers, and here's that file right here. So we want to make sure that we add our hype document to the images folder. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go into images and I'll right click and create a directory. And I'll call this directory hype. Okay. So now that directory is in there. Next, I'll open up that directory and I will take these two files here that we created and we'll drag it into this folder directory. Okay, close that and we're done with that. All right, so before, as earlier, we wanna make sure that we copy this code here, okay? So we'll right click and copy. Now let's head over to our back end of our website. Using the JCE editor, we wanna make sure that we're using the, uh, the text and not the visual editor. So the text editor is the um, source code editor here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll click here and we'll open up um, the coding for the setup that you have under your visual side of it. So what I like to do is I'm just gonna add some space here. And we're gonna paste in our code. Now, here's a note why um, we need to use Sourcer. Um, because here, I'll show you. If we just paste in our code here and we hit save, okay, and then we go to our website and refresh, we'll see that the, the, the container is there, which is what um, we need for the uh, hype file. But if you go here, it switches back to the visual editor. If we go back into the source editor, you'll see that the code was uh, trimmed down and it's no longer usable because if we did uh, add the hype file correctly, um, we went to a different page, came back. Uh, once you go back to this editor, uh, it'll wipe out your, your code for, for hype and you have to go back and try to figure that out. So to make things easy, what we'll do is we'll go here and we'll delete the previous code. We'll paste in the previous one that we used. Um, to use Sourcer, Sourcer <laughs> uh, what we have to do is we have to, at the beginning of our tag, we need to have an open bracket, type in source, close bracket. Okay. And then at the end, we need to make sure we have open bracket slash or for slash source close bracket in addition we need to make sure that all the um, brackets we need to change those to this two of those for every one we need two of these uh, depending on if it's open or closed okay so let's find the next one delete And that's it. Now, for the source, we need to make sure that we point it to the right directory. Like we said, we put it in images forward slash hype forward slash. So, this is going to be the code. Let's go ahead and save. Go back to web page, refresh. And that is how we implement your hype document into Joomla. Now, as you notice, um, the rest of our content disappeared. The reason why that happened was because if we go back to the source code here, 
we want to make sure that uh, that div that was in here, we want to make sure that that's back in there. So um, actually, you can make you can add that div in the uh, visual uh, editor, not the source. The um, I guess it'll disappear here. So just add it into the visual, the div there, and your rest of the content will show up here. So with that said, that's how you add your hype document to the latest version of Joomla. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.